Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel, my name is Wilfred and welcome to another episode of the uh, Hero Design Review as well as um, Build Ideas. A lot of you have asked me if I could uh, do a video on Deadpool, more than happy to do so, big fan, um, especially love his voice acting since the very beginning of this game. Deadpool has quite a number of builds here, um, all of them are very fun to play, the ranged, the melee as well as a little bit of movement. So in this video, I'm going to focus on the movement build, but I will do other videos for the melee and range as well because I feel that cramping all three into one kind of like video is a little bit too long. Um, so I'd like to just dedicate some time to talk a little bit about his Canadian Devil kind of build. Now before I get there, I would like to just talk a little bit about Deadpool, uh, the fundamental change. So in the event whereby you come from before the, the update and now, you know, looking in Deadpool, what you should pay attention to and so on. He still have an awesome kind of meter, so anything, you know, all the power just free to use. Um, I don't ask me why, but somehow his health just too humongous um, in a way uh, because of the awesome, of course. Now, um, the changes to it, the first thing first is that uh, he's, um, he's a bruiser, so durability and fighting. Whatever you spec, try to get there. Um, I actually changed three of my artifacts in order to cater for this like um, you know attribute change because some of this like uh, before I've got some artifact that's no longer uh, valid. So just take a look at the your old artifact, sort those things out that has like for example uh, durability to it, anything that has like uh, fighting to it, anything that has like durability to it, or even range and melee kind of like um, you know uh, buff as well. Those will be quite decent because he can play any of those three builds. So just some idea. Now of course with the uh, cosmic artifact, all these are just uh, stop gap before you get there. So don't spend too much time into trying to figure out which one to go for. As for blessing is concerned, um, my advice is always Odin because you know he he can play range melee. And even his Canadian devil kind of like main spender is very much like a range and melee as well. So you know uh, I'll go for Odin and the uh, it required to have one offensive, one defensive, one utility. That means that the offensive I pick Hella. Uh, that is uh, applicable to both range and melee. Uh, in your utility, usually I take the um, uh, sieve, but then because for for Deadpool, awesome means something, so I take the uh, Balder. Um, and then last but not the least, I take the uh, Vol Statch as well, which is giving me more defense uh, rating. Uh, defense is king in this game. So that is one. Uh, the other thing that I like to talk about awesome is that the more awesome you have, it buff the base damage. So I think it works a little bit different from previously. I think previously it buffed the crit and brutal as well, if I'm not wrong. But anyway, just take note of that. So the higher the awesome, the more the better the base damage. Uh, is it uh, better to sacrifice, say, you know, um, if I have four, four blessing into uh, boulder or not? I mean, again, right now it's very hard to look into number because the game changes so much patch from patch. Heroes getting nerfed, heroes getting buff. But uh, I always look in it, into it from a design perspective now because if you choose the right design uh, philosophy, then usually you are getting to the right path. Uh, you know, sometimes you figure out, explore the numbers and figure out a bill, but then you know, uh, one day it may get nerfed. So that's just something to note. He's a defense dodge hero, so it's wonderful. Um, no, no complaint, that's really good. So that is one. Now, uh, if you follow my guide before for the Canadian Devil Car build, uh, I only make one small adjustment to it, and I'll show you why I make the adjustment to that in just a bit. But uh, build-wise, I'm using the uh, the Canadian Devil, of course, as the main spender. I'll show you in the Cosmic Terminal clip. I got Magneto, uh, share quest, so I'm going to head in there. Uh, Little Deadpool is always good as a taunt, as well as, you know, bomb and kind of thing. The bomb doesn't really hit much, but it's nice to be taunt, like, uh, because as a movement thingy, you, you it seems I tend to eat a lot of damage so with all these like uh, mobs and so on. Just because if I if I keep dashing around, I'll lose the movement momentum. Not I mean move, movement kind of like momentum, not in the juggernaut kind of sense. It, it's just the gameplay momentum. So I uh, I prefer to use the little that pool as my you know just to taunt and so on. Just drop it there from time to time. The uh, hot hand arrow I don't really like that in the sense that it has a um, very really long animation, but it does give you the vulnerability kind of thing buffed by the uh, brutal. I mean the brutal strike chance and whatnot is being buffed by your awesome as well. So I thought you know that is good to remain that one. I'm using the ten ton. Uh, hammer 
that is uh, pre I think you know previously it was uh, if you don't use a certain talent it was something called a slam jam or something like that so uh, it's, it's kind of nice but I'll tell you why I use that in just a bit then the awesome launch of that itself it doesn't really do much but it does give you the kind of mobility as a movement because I do realize that sometimes I do need to move around a little bit uh, to to sort of like you know disengage from all this nonsense from the from the ground uh, so as to speak uh, without losing momentum also you can get knocked back uh, you can you can lock down as well and so on but the damage itself is pretty weak um, you know is it a good good power to use in a way if you are committed to a movement build then you have to think a different time like different mindset because you want things that are fluid you know it doesn't want to disturb your main band that kind of thing so uh, serverlet is his signature um, and after that uh, we have the bang boom pow uh, is yet another one that I like to talk about why I'm having this in the toolbar as well uh, but in previously I've got the uh, superior uh, healing factor as well as the uh, bang, bang boom pow uh, not having the hammer itself but because of the talent design I realized that maybe it's good to have this as a pair because the talent kind of like points to that direction and I sacrifice on the uh, superior, superior healing factor but if you say well I'm really lazy I don't want to like you know use my mech at all you know as a Deadpool you can actually it's very relaxing playing him I took him to curse terminal <laughs> really no problem uh, then you could have this in your hot bar and just like lay back you know if you're using one of those MMO mouse like mine then you just lay back and just play with without even hitting any other button on the keyboard. All right, now let's take a look at this, uh, his uh, talent itself. Uh, first tier is you can add it like a boss. So whenever you engage a boss or mini boss, then you got buff quite tremendously. Uh, you know, your awesome will of course further buff your health and then after that uh, further buff your base damage and some of the power like the 10 ton hammer will get to, hmm? hang on, some of the power like the, sorry, like the hot hand arrow that has will be buffed by it. So it's good to keep thinking about what is being buffed because that is very important. Now, otherwise, you get disengaged from the number itself. Uh, or you can get a stat meter. Uh, you can have this thing here. But I realize that for Cosmic Terminal, if I do solo, I don't really kill that fast. Uh, unlike, say, you know, if you are in a high density area, then probably that one makes sense. But because it can't, like, it, it can't decay quite fast. So I, in the end, I found that by the time I reach the boss, this whole meter is already gone to zero. So I may as well do this one instead. Uh, I want to kill the boss faster. Uh, then the third one is that uh, there are some other ops here that will, that will buff your healing and stuff like that. I presume probably in a rage environment, it'll be more uh, relevant kind of thing because you can continuously receive like you know healing from all sorts uh, rather than just like being awesome in every 10 seconds for one minute. Hmm? Something to think about. Then... Um, then if you take a, take a look at the, uh, the, the, the second tier of it, I will not go into too much of detail. I want to save it for other video on, on that pool as well. But uh, I realized that the, because you are, if you are using Canadian Devil, you have got to use 10-ton hammer anyway. So the two go side by side together. Uh, uh, it will be a waste if I, if I do not use a 10 ton hammer. That's why I have it there on, on my hot bar. But of course, you know, it is not a ton, 10 ton hammer until you make it so. So here is one of the slam jam that transformed the 10 ton hammer. And I'm quite glad that they dynamically changed that because if you don't do this, then it becomes like a slam jam here. Then you do this, this one becomes like a 10 ton hammer. Before that, I don't see that kind of thing. I think, I think for some other heroes, it's not that intelligence probably just a bug for other heroes so i'm quite happy that that pool is rather polished right now uh you know whether i for me because my i use the little that pool as the tone so i do not want to detonate it immediately that's the reason why i don't want to do that um all right so uh so i have to pick this one the next part is that uh, really up to you whenever you do server lag you want to have three of you together adding more DPS or further buff yourself in a, in a way that previously you got all this teddy bear running around, not running around, on the floor kind of thing. Or you can say that uh, you gain uh, invulnerability and health with gen doing so. I presume in a raid environment, probably this one is more relevant but uh, or harder content. But right now, I just go for this one. Um, then this one, I talk about it already. Otherwise, you know, so that's why the, the bang, uh, bang Boom Pow is the one that um, if you use the uh, Canadian Devil build, then you have to forego this one, uh, the buff of this one. So, like I said, do, do I really want uh, bam, Bamboo Pow here? Then, you know, it's, it's something that uh, is not being buffed by anything here by talent, but it's something that uh, it's good to have 
uh, you know, when, when it disengages from a distance, then you can you can do it uh, the the bamboo pile there. All right. So uh, I'm I'm not using any of those. This is more for the range B, I believe. Um. So you know. Uh. So that is it. Then the last one. <laughs> I mean, this one again. You know that there, there are many choices. If you are doing calendar, therefore, then you want to walk a little bit faster as well. Uh. And the you know the the rest of it. This one is more for the melee build. This one is more for. I think this one is uh, more for the range build. So uh, I think this is a Canadian Devil build. That is what uh, you subscribe to uh, in this one. Uh, as for the, as for the, uh, you know, as for the uh, Infinity kind of system, I I presume I like to have a bit better move speed because it kind of help me move my character a little bit faster. Although Canadian Devil has already um, does his job for him to move a little bit faster but uh, i think you know without further ado let's just like uh, go into a terminal uh, this time it's magneto just show you how he plays like all right so this is cosmic uh, magneto with the canadian devil build and i will show you how relaxing he is and uh, you won't believe it when you see it uh, probably just it is uh, probably some teddy bear and 10 ton hammer you can maybe want to rush a bit out you know, kind of thing, uh, maybe do a range kind of like a bomb here and loot something here, then continue his, uh, you know, whatever it is that he does. Alright, 10 ton hammer over there and uh, that's about it. Uh, maybe I want to get my ops here. Alright, so that's it. It's really uh, nothing really a lot to, to do here. And I've got buff here as well. So I, I, I intend to, I intend to like, um, Get a bounty here so just uh, let uh, allow me to do it and it's a pretty cute uh, <laughs> bike as well i mean that is the whole reason why i want to play that pool isn't it uh tell me guys don't you love him oh man he got stuck oh hang on a sec he can unstuck himself yes because he's that pool so maybe do a range kind of thing here the daddy bear and then 10 ton hammer and that's it right uh i mean this build is not going to give you a lot of like um uh you know how DPS, I think. I think a DPS Y is still better if I do a range or melee. Um, but it is a fun build. I mean, how many build you could actually do something like that? And you know, uh, maybe do a range here and ten thumb hammer here, or you know, uh, here right now here, right? Uh, do a teddy bear, and that's it. I haven't really used my signature as yet. Right? Maybe I do it here. Why not? Uh, since I I can. Because I can, all right. So whenever you need, uh, you can always while you are doing the Canadian Devil, you can do the, you can you can you can do the kind of like uh, what is it called? The teleport as well, you know. Well, it's not teleport, the dash. So that like dash, you can dash and continue the <laughs> Canadian Devil, you know, kind of thing. All right. So I want to grab my uh, experience off. You see what I mean? It's kind of nice and easy, right? Right, it's uh, really no spell at all. You just eat everything inside. I mean, this is not a hard terminal, but if you go to like curse, you can really appreciate the fact that it doesn't really do anything. You just go go and eat everything here you have. All right, back in time. Okay, I'll let that one go. That's fine. Ah, let me do a server lag and and that's it. Uh, let me see my buff window. I, I thought it would be buffed somehow with the uh, talent and whatever. I mean, no, I haven't, I haven't really like uh, too, too spot on with my with my cooldown thingy. Uh, but just because, you know, it, it's so enjoyable, you know, just like this. It just go through everything here. I don't have to think through, like, think too hard about what to do kind of thing. Oh, I got like a worldstone here. Right, so um, yeah, so that is it. Maybe I hammer them down here. There you go. Like it? <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. Uh, just uh, well, I mean the queue time is not really fast right now, but because of my gear as well, I'm using pre uh, pre two point zero kind of like you know gear. Nowadays you have a lot of better gear, like the cosmic gear and so on, uh, giving you a lot of opportunity to do much better DPS. Um, all right. Okay, do a range here, and the uh, maybe another teddy bear. How about that? All right. So that's done. Uh, let's do the bike out. And the well, I got the bounty already. Why am I still carrying so much? 
Okay, okay, let me just, uh, one more here. Uh, I just want to show you guys how relaxing it is. But it's just that I feel my finger a little bit numb though. I mean, if you hold the mouse button for like, you know, hours, can you, can you imagine how hard it is really to, to sort of like, um... Alright. So, I mean, the, the problem with this build actually is a, is a kill time, that's all. I mean, uh... Right, there's a range. And, uh, Hulk arrow and 10 ton hammer. Hammer in, and uh, that's it. Teddy bear. 10 ton hammer. And. No, I mean, you, you hardly see any like uh, mo scary moment at all. It's kind of funny though. I mean, some, some heroes are just so so easy. Some are just you know, a bit harder. That's all. Uh, I could do a heal. Maybe I should do a heal. Just in case. <laughs> Right, that's it. Ooh, there's a Pyron, uh, Pyro. Uh, is it good? Well, it is not that good. It's not that bad. Okay, sure. Okay, so next run is the uh, Magneto itself. I'm going to do an ultimate here. I hope you guys are all right with that. All right, so. Well, I mean, ah, double. I, I should have remembered that my death watch does the same thing as mine. <laughs> I mean, what's more awesome than two, uh, one Deadpool is two Deadpools, of course. All right. All right, that's the uh, ultimate. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. I don't know what in the world it is. I'll check it out in just a moment. All right, it's a uh, awesome kind of like um. And the yeah, I'll do a shelf a lap once is um Oh that's it. I don't even need that. Alright, so that is uh all my all my stuff here, hard earned stuff, so I'm gonna just gonna collect all these junks here and we'll see. I'll just check what it is in just a moment. And the uh the achievement was breaking the fourth wall. Ask me that pool totally ruined the game for all of my lame enemy by using my kitchen sink ultimate 20 times. That's it. Alright, so I hope you enjoy uh this short video on the Canadian Devil build. I hope uh, you got a chance to try it out as well. A little bit different. I think a lot of you like the range build or melee build, but I found that the Canadian Devil build is a little bit unique and hope you like it. And as always, you can check out the link at the description of the video. That's where I put all the video link in my website organized in a manner that you can easily find what you want to watch. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.